Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to my channel. We are in my dining room today. It's a beautiful day out there. You can see the temperate greenhouse. A few of my plants off to the side. We are in the dining room today because we are going to be doing a review video on some new thermometer slash hygrometers from a company called Govi. So the package arrived yesterday and I thought I would open it up with you guys and we can have a look at these new thermometers together. They are Wi-Fi thermometers. Uh, so I'll be able to see them from my smartphone anywhere in the world and it's going to tell me the temperatures and humidities and be able to give me all kinds of temperature alarms and alerts. It has a free cloud service so I'm excited about that and I was actually so excited I downloaded the app the other day um, just to get started. It's kind of a cool app. They From the app you can see all their products and and yeah it's really good. So let's get going on this and we'll open it up together and see what these things look like. And while I work on opening this, here is just a quick look at um, what they look like on Amazon.com. I'm going to put the link in the description below for that. So in case I forget to mention it later, the link is in the description for these guys. But I'm really expecting good things out of it. Okay. Let's have a look here. First impressions is they are real, the boxes are really tiny, really, really tiny. So I have three sets, three sets of two, so six sensors all together. So I can redo my entire greenhouse, my temperate greenhouse, and everything else that's needed to hopefully take over from my old system. So look at that, they look awesome there. Pretty sleek. Two sensors, and then the gateway. And it looks like each box has the two sensors and the gateway. So I'm going to be setting up three gateways and six sensors today. And I think what I'm going to do is I will take you through the steps to the first one anyways. And then we'll go from there. So let's open it up and see what we can find here. So getting it all opened up. We have the instructions, which I'm going to um, take the time to read when I'm off camera. And yeah, really slick looking gateway, really small, really um, smooth looking. And a couple sensors, and again, very slick looking. Um, I like the nice rounded edges to them. They're really, um, they'll fit in nicely, and they're not overly big. I thought they were going to be much bigger than they were as well. So yeah, that's, that's what they look like. So... Now, why don't we try to get the batteries in them and get them set up? The good thing is batteries are included with these, so let's get busy setting them up. And okay, so let's get the batteries going here. We've got to remove the blue little tab and the blue light comes on in the second the tab is removed, so that's kind of cool. We know that that is activated and working. And then with, we'll do that times six. And then we have to go over to the wall and get the the gateways plugged in. So that is simple enough as well. I can see that there's a blue flashing light on that. I don't know if you can see it from camera, but let's look at the setup now. Okay, and looking at my phone, so we're going to select the device. And all of this is should be pretty basic stuff. If you've set up these sort of... Um, Wi-Fi units before of any kind, um, smart switches or Google Homes or anything like that. It's pretty straightforward stuff. I've set up dozens of things like this. And this is basically where it just got a little bit difficult. So enter your password as normal. Get going and just follow the prompts. Find the, the unit itself on, um, on your Wi-Fi. Select that. And this is where it just it didn't seem to be as smooth as it could have been. I select the um, it's Wi-Fi and it should just connect itself, but it didn't. I found myself having to bounce back and forth sort of between the two to finally get it to bring up a screen where it said connecting. It just um, it wasn't really working smoothly at this point. So it's the only downfall. It was just a little bit difficult to get this set up. But once I did, it bounced back and forth a few times. The countdown started, and boom, it was connected within a few seconds. So there we go. And that is how we set up the first one. Now on to the bedroom, and I'm going to show you a different angle of how we set these up. 
for doing the second one. So just like in the first, hold the button until the blue light starts flashing slowly. And then we are ready for setup. That means it is um, producing its own little signal that I can pick up on my with the Wi-Fi of my phone. I have my, my sensors ready to go. So let's open up the app again and find the device. This time we are going to add the second gateway. And now I've done it once. So it goes a little bit smoother this time around. But I still have trouble once once I'm selected on the gateway, once I select that as sort of the Wi-Fi, it's not smooth to get it all set up. It's my only um, complaint thus far with it. I bounce back and forth a little bit after joining the network. So let's get on here. And again, like I said, if you've set up any of these devices before, you know you select that, you head back to the app, pretty standard procedure. But that's just kind of where it stopped. And when I would go back to the app, it wouldn't really select. So I have to go back and forth a few times and make sure I was really truly connected, I guess, even though the blue check mark was on there. Back to the app, check, nothing happening. So I'll go back again, check the Wi Fi, and basically just select the unit itself a second time. Go up to it. Grovey Gateway, Gobi Gateway, and boom, there we go. After touching it a second time, it works. Quick timer, I don't even know why it gives you a minute. It doesn't even take the minute. It takes 15 seconds or so to get it all set up once it's doing it. So once I knew it was a tiny bit difficult to set up, I was able to overcome that much quicker the second time and really quick the third time when I set it up. So we were no worries there. And looking at this, so these are my first impressions. Now I have four sensors set up. And you can see temperature, the first two um, in Fahrenheit. I can switch. I can see charts for sinking. I can see all kinds of... And there's my temperature alarm. So this is a big one that I'm concerned about. I want to figure out the temperature alerts. And we'll get it running. And then I'm going to see how it runs for a while. We'll... Um, I'll give you an update on this to how the actual performance is, but you know, you want to be able to slide the dial so that it seems super easy and user friendly, anyways, this way. And that is how you set the temperature alarm really easy. Same for humidity, so that's kind of cool. It will give you a text message or a notification on your smartphone if something goes out of whack. And again, this is one of my primary concerns. But anyways, so my first impressions, well, first off, I'd like to thank Govi for even giving me the opportunity to play with these. The, I think they're going to be really cool to play with. My first impressions are the gateway and the sensor, they both look really nice. They look awesome. They're sleek, slim, smooth. I love the rounded corners, stuff like that. It would be nice if the gateways, if I just needed one gateway instead of three, if I could hook up the six sensors to the one gateway but that is what it is. Um, I love the fact that you can use them anywhere, anytime on LTE, and they seem to have a good distance to them. I wish they had a display on them so you could see the temperature while you're like staring at it, but that is what it is. So, but again, they seem like, you know, a rock solid sort of sensor unit. And as for the app itself, well, I think the app is pretty good. Um, it's basic, it's clean, it seems easy to use. As I said, I found setup was a little less smooth than it could have been. I have set up quite a few things, smart switches, um, stuff like that, um, other sensors for temperature, and it just didn't go quite as smoothly as I wished, but that is what it is. It could be fixed easily with just an update from them. Um, but despite all that, I did set up three of these devices with, with really not that much problem at all. Um, I love the sensor alarms on it. I think that's going to be one of the great features. Um, I love the fact that there's no fees for this. My current um, sensors have a yearly fee for cloud service, so there's none of that with this. So that's great. And I like the fact that you can calibrate these as well. I love the calibration feature. If something's a little bit off, you can just tweak it just that slightest little bit. So anyways, we'll see how they do. Um, I don't want to give it a review yet, but I will do that in a month or so. 
So, I encourage you guys to check him out on Amazon.com. I'll leave the link in the description below. I hope you like this video. If you want to see more reviews like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.